In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the XAMS Production Test Simulation, or PTS. Embedded in two of the XAMS modules, Exciting Times and the Automatic Role Builder, PTS is a unique technology that allows role administrators to test role and authorization changes in a production environment without negatively affecting business users. With traditional SAP tools, testing role and authorization changes can be labor-intensive, time-consuming, and expensive, both from a security administrator's time and that of your business users. Some of the challenges the security administrators face would be setting up the test environment, creation of the test scripts and test data, coordination of the actual testing, and supporting authorization and test user issues as they come up during the test. For your test users, typically our business users, they are faced with time away from their normal workload to conduct security testing and frustration with the normal start and stop flow of traditional security testing. With PTS, security administrators have complete control over test simulations. The test simulations can be started and stopped at their discretion with no need to coordinate schedules with test users. Any authorization issues that are identified by the simulation are logged and do not cause the testing to stop. This allows the security administrators the ability to analyze issues and make updates to roles and authorizations on a more efficient timeline. Testing is conducted in the production system while your business users are doing their normal day-to-day -day work. In most situations, the business users don't even know they are testing. They remain 100% productive. Because the end users do not have to interrupt their day-to-day -day work to conduct security testing, the user acceptance of changes is typically much higher than with the traditional SAP tools. For our demonstration today, our test dialog user will be running several transactions that are not assigned to the reference user, SE93, FB01, and FB03, but are assigned to the dialog user. Our test dialog user will also run a couple of transactions that are not assigned to either of the users, FB02 and MM01. So let's get started with the live demonstration. I have logged on as a security administrator. It will navigate to the exciting time pseudo session request console. From here, I'll select Start Multi-Mode Pseudo Sessions and then select the dialog user I want to test. In the pop-up window, I will type a reason, session time and hours, and click on Continue. The SU53 box can be left blank in this case as it is used for capturing log information for third-party users that may be called during the test session. This will not be an issue for our test today. Next, we will see a pop-up window telling us that the reference user has been assigned and that the collector job is running. The PTS for our test user is now active and the authority checks are being logged by XAMS. I'm logged on as the test dialog user and will run transaction SE93, FB01, and FB03. As you will recall, these three transactions are not assigned to the reference user but are assigned to our dialog test user. Next, our dialog test user will run transaction FB02 and MM01. As you will recall, both of these transactions are not assigned to either the reference user or the dialog test user, so we expect them both to fail. Our dialog test user has finished testing, so I will log them out and switch back over to our security administrator to end the test session. Now that the test user has finished their work, I'll stop the test session using the Terminate Pseudo Sessions button. I'll select my test user and then click on the checks box to terminate the PTS session. Next I'll type in a reason for stopping the session and click on the continue button. When done, we'll get a system message pop-up letting us know that the test is ended and that the reference user has been removed. Now we'll navigate to the exciting role builder to analyze our test data. To view the results of our test, we'll select the date and time range. Select our test user. Then under the processing section, we'll select simulation as the source and click on execute button. The 
BTS analysis report lists multiple columns of information. The first column can be ignored as it is used for delta roll creation and is not part of this demo. The information we are interested in starts with the column return code. Return code 0 means the authority check failed on the reference user and passed on the dialog user. You will want to consider adding the authorization information to the new role or roles being tested. Return codes 1, 3, 4, and 12 mean the authorization object being checked is either not in the user buffer or the authorization values are not correct. Note return code 1 for FB02 and MM01 where neither the reference user or dialog user were authorized. As you will recall, both of these authority checks failed when our dialog user tested them. The red highlight means that the transactions or authorities are on our blacklist. Dark green equals whitelisted transactions. Light green or gray authorizations that can be considered whitelist depending on how it is used. Extra analysis is required for those authorizations. This ends our demonstration of the exciting productive test simulation. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. If you have any questions or would like to receive more information on the XAMS software suite, please send us an email at info at exciting.us.